everybody. Uh, I am here at GamerCon and I just witnessed a hilarious uh, comedy routine with Andre Meadows. Oh, who, who did it? Who was funny? All right. Oh, Hi. this guy. <laughs> Meadows, right? Yes, yes. Andre Meadows. Yes. Hi, I'm Andre. Black nerd. Yeah, black nerd. <laughs> I can't talk. Black see, the, uh, see the effect I have on women? She can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Typical Latin day. Nerd comedy. Yes, yes. It's his YouTube comedy. channel, mm -hmm. and it's great because you do, you know, you do your stand up, and it is, uh, you know, you touch on kind of the the race things, like the typical um, YouTube or comedy. It's been a long day. <laughs> You've been walking around it. I, I, exactly. I got it. Yes. Actually, absolutely. Actually, I, I wasn't gonna come because I felt really sick this morning. But oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I decided it'd be better to be here and be sick than not sick, but be here. Sick? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, give me nerd like, like, food. Like, stomach Oh, okay. But, no, All nothing right. contagious. But I wanted to come here and, like, you know, experience it. I'm really glad I did because I got to see your, your, or oh. listen to your hilarious things. But yeah, you, you touch on, like, that kind of stuff, but then you also talk a lot about um, nerd stuff. Like, you're talking about TV shows from the 80s and 90s. And Absolutely. when you started singing the DuckTales thing, I was like, yes! <laughs> I gotta love DuckTales. So, so how long have you been doing comedy? I've been doing comedy ugh, since like 2000. Well, I started out doing uh, improv comedy in college, and then that and some of my friends that were in improv also did stand up, so they kind of just did that. Oh, I love so much fun. I did a comedy sport. And, um, and so, yeah, so I started doing that, and what, that was one of my first, like, literally my first joke I ever wrote was, it's tough being a black nerd. And that was like one of the first things I did, and like everyone liked it. So, that was one of the things I kept, you know, coming to work too, and like, you know, it's Flex stuff, for nerd stuff, or something. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and then so much. You obviously have experienced both sides. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, I'm a Venn diagram. It's like the black side and the nerd side, and then there's me in the middle there, <laughs> figuring everything out. But uh, so you were talking about you were kind of being like a, a nerd comedian from the start, then. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Or, which is like I would. Well, like I do stand-up shows, I kind of keep it a little bit more general because, like, it's specific as some things can nerd, be. Nerd is getting mainstream, but it's not that mainstream. Yeah, but back when I back in my day when I started, no one cared about the nerd stuff. Like that. It's, it's definitely a different time now, which is very interesting. But, yeah. but particularly being a black nerd, there's still some fun things that you can talk about uh, that, that happen. Yeah, I loved your I loved your bit about hot hot nerd girls and how now you don't have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, it's true, it's true. It's like, I used to be like, oh yeah, yeah. No one's dating me because uh, it's dinner night. There's no nerd girls stuff. here. There's no girls here, whatever. Yeah. But now it's like, yeah. yeah, now I use the big giant Warner Brothers bags to hide <laughs> my nerd bonus. And then your follower, follow up yeah. that, uh, you know, now girls watch Avengers and they want those guys. They don't want the nerd bonus. I know, they, they, well, that's, well, even not even that, but like, but really, like come on, guys are the same way. Oh, of course, of course. But there's a lot of like dudes now that like, there's this new sort of way. Because remember, like, was, I don't know, when I was growing up, the hot guy or hot girl was like the pinups of the, you know, the cover models and all that kind of stuff. Whereas now, it's like being kind of a cool, chill, but a little quirky, little different, like that works. And so the nerd... Unless you're Sheldon. <laughs> yeah, not, not that too far extreme, but like, you come back a little bit. And so, you know, so the... Yeah, Sheldon is there, know. Sheldon is there to make the other guys look normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true, but yeah, it's uh, but yeah, so you know, we gotta, we gotta work, we gotta work our game. Can't use that excuse anymore. And then yeah, and of course I talked about the silliness of oh, you know, girls are faking and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Faking the geek Thank so you, <laughs> thank you for addressing that. I actually I have a video on my channel where I address that. Where I do it, yeah. basically I just, what, who, who really thinks that girls are gonna pretend to be interested in this because they want, you know, like, <laughs> well, like I said, everybody wants girls anyway. <laughs> well, like I said on stage, it's like, it's like if there's a secret lair where they're all like, ooh, we've, we've tricked them all. Now our plan is complete. Which I'm like, and your plan is... See, you just told everybody to not have to kill you. I'm oh, sorry. yeah, exactly. I, I, was, I didn't know! <laughs> so, yes. So, uh, one last question, I guess. Sure. Uh, as far as, like, nerd, like, nerd yeah. things, yeah. are you happy with that? Or are you disgusted by that? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm disgusted. I'm definitely not disgusted by it. Uh, it's just a very interesting thing. Because, I mean, even though I do joke about it, there, there is definitely this sort of vibe of, like... Like, see, I grew up in the 90s, and the 90s, yes, and one of the things, I don't know if this is every neighborhood, but the, the thing in the 90s was, uh, everybody wanted to be black, it was like, it was like, the, and like, 
like our like you had white kids wearing Ma wearing Malcolm X shirts and like, and, and, and like everything was you know oh I listen I, to the I rap think every community has that even now yeah so. well it still exists don't yeah. get me wrong but like, I remember that being a big search game. I almost look at the nerd thing now as sort of that same thing yes. there are people that are into it in varying degrees yeah. and they're and I'm not saying it again it's not saying anyone's yeah. faking it but they're definitely some of this thing of like oh I want to know yeah. more. I know like I admit that like because I am very into video games and yeah. I've been into video games since I was a little kid and I'm always trying to make friends with girls who like games because I want to play with them I mean yeah. I have plenty of guy friends that I play games with right. and I'll talk to them like do you like games they're like yeah I like games they're like what do you play they're like oh I played Mario when I was five and I'm like then don't call yourself a gamer <laughs> I, that's me. Used to be a gamer. That's me. I played Mario when I was five. I don't know. No, no I, I, I think they're just different levels. I think that's, that's, I think that's the thing that we're going to have to accept. I think yeah, and you know, don't exclude. Their... Don't exclude. No, no. Consider it a stepping stone. Well, Consider yeah. It. I know some I know some Asian couples, couples, and they've told me. Yeah, like, yeah I mean, so many of, people have been like World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's even been people where I know were like, the girl or the guy were not into like, and, they so, and they're yeah. like, hey, I got this person, and they're looking kind of good. Let me figure out what's wrong. Yeah. And they got brought in. And so, that, that ties in with, with stepping stones because, yeah. you know, if you take someone that's never played a game and you, like, throw them into, like, a fighting game or something, yeah. you're not going to get it. But that's why a lot of people at Skyrim, like, I have yeah. so many friends who are gamers now because of Skyrim. Yeah. I know. Like it's, 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 like I said, it's totally different like that. Like, I know, I, I mean, I just the truth. There's a lot of stuff that's out now. Because I'm a retro guy. So there's a lot of stuff out now that I know nothing about. I'm like, I'm kudos to you all for knowing about your BBCs and your, and your what's up. It's cool. I'm so, I'm all you have to do is go on Tumblr for five minutes and you'll know all you need. <laughs> That's it. I know. I mean, it's, it's, it's very interesting. But yeah, I think you just, you just need to understand there's different levels. Don't group every single person by one word. Because if there's anything I know about that, from my like history, it. it's, it's not cool to group a whole bunch of people yeah, with likes one to be, stereotype. Nobody likes to be first. Yeah. No, yes. The N word, which is nerd, uh, don't let it mess you up. <laughs> it's our word now, sir. Awesome. So one more time, yes. your YouTube channel is Black Nerd Comedy. My YouTube channel is Black Nerd Comedy. My Twitter is at Black Nerd. Um, I'm also on the Facebook under Black Nerd Comedy. I'm here at Comic Con, so if you see this, come find me. Uh, and that's it. And, and is it like videos of your stand-up? It's videos of it's rants, Black Nerd rants. I rant about uh, pop culture, nerd culture that either makes me very excited or very very angry. Usually angry. Uh, I review movies, uh, television shows. Uh, Video games. I have interviews of all awkward talks girls. We should do a video game review. I would love to do a video game review. Yeah, amazing. But I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. Here's my info. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Everybody watching this, go check out Black Nerd Comedy. I'm not gonna let your hand go. This is a very smooth hand. I like this. Sorry. Yes. Take this offline. See you later.